I've been looking at my new Fender Koa tenor ukulele. I think it is super. It looks great. Has no blemishes on it that I can see. And I'm not going to look too closely at something that I bought for $50. However, there are going to be some things I have to do to get it ready to play. First thing is, I'm going to have to find a saddle for it. It is not a standard saddle, so I'm going to have to buy one specially suited for this ukulele. I'm going to have to put strings on it. Oh, by the way, I have already found a saddle for this uke. I have purchased it on eBay and it should be here in four days. That was a big thing. I'm trusting I'll be able to simply put it in, put strings on it, tune it up, and play. I don't want to have to fool around with adjusting the saddle. That's not something I care to do. It has a pull-through type bridge, so this should be easy to put the strings on. So, once I have the strings on, I need to install strap buttons. Does, of course, have a tail block in inside, so I'll be able to screw the uh, bottom tail button in here, and I put one also on the neck. So that shouldn't be a difficult job. I'll also add my own strap. And when I get that, I'll be pretty much ready to play. The only other thing I'll have to do with this ukulele is clean up the gig bag. It came to me very dirty. It stinks. <laughs> what can I say? How can you sell something online and ship it dirty? That's, uh, that's not nice. I would not have ever done that in a million years. But that's the way it is. I have to clean up the gig bag. The only thing that really I'm concerned about is that the saddle fits in here properly and that when I hook it up the strings, the string height is such that I'll be able to play this. If not, I'll still have more work to do. I'm really thinking that this may be one of my favorite ukes. I'm hoping it is. It has a nice pedigree looks good it even has a name every ukulele should have a name why don't the makers of ukuleles give their name ukuleles names like this one is a or no hair that's cool that's very cool and i don't know if you can see inside the sound hole but there is a hula girl there and that looks really cool And this is a nice ukulele. They obviously went to some trouble to make this. I think this one has probably been uh, out of, well, we used to call it out of print for a book, but this one probably hasn't been made in eight years, I don't think. So this one more, most likely is eight, eight or ten years old. Thanks for watching.